Welcome back to The Perspective. I'm Florence Armain, and we are talking about Snapcard. Uh, Ray, I have, I have here uh, in my mobile phone, of course, I've downloaded it for the purposes of our conversation today. Very good. Uh, Snapcard, very simple. You have cashback, category, and bonus. And everything else is just the products that you're, you're working with yep. and also the amount of... Total, the total of uh, cash back for each product. Yeah. All right. I'm a, um, for a dummy like myself. How does this work in simple words, in simple explanation? How does it work? You snap the receipt, and then what? What, what happens next? Right. So uh, we've seen basically two behaviors of our users. Okay. One is the ones that would want to browse the promotion first, mm -hmm. and then it creates more like an influence to those shoppers to mm -hmm. purchase what products that they want to shop. Mm -hmm and then they can uh, snap the receipt. Okay. Right? Uh, so um, uh, the second segment yeah. will be the shoppers who just want to snap the receipt. Uh, they don't really care what products available in um, the platform okay. itself. So, um, but, but the basic idea is to really drive shoppers to take photos of the receipt. Yeah. Um, it's very simple. We have a very good user interface to ensure that although the receipts, let's say, is two and a half meters long, right. you can still <laughs> yeah, how, how do you do that? take yes. photos continuously. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you would be able to know uh, when when is the what is the last part of the receipt right. that you take photo right. uh, on. Uh, so so you take the photos and then immediately on the back end we will process the receipt. Mm -hmm. We need to validate the receipt mm -hmm. to ensure that there's no fraud. There's no duplication of receipts and so on and so on, and then there will be. How long? How long does that process take? Depend depending on how long the receipt is. Depending on how long of, of the receipt is. Yeah. Depending also if the receipt contains um, certain new products, for example, right. because new products means that we need to add our database right. based on the data from that new product. Right. right. So, but usually the uh, maximum time that uh, we have is maximum two days processing time. Okay. For the receipt, or of course, because of the machine learning that uh, technology that we have, then we will accelerate that moving forward. Uh, um, when once we have more receipts coming in, then our database is bigger and so on. Okay. So once you validate that receipt, what happens? So after validation, then the user will get notification mm -hmm. that the receipt has been validated, okay. and then the user can see how many cashbacks that they receive depending on the types of SKUs or, or product items that they buy, then the different cashbacks will be accumulated into one full amount of cashback per receipt. So they'll, get, they'll get the total of the, the cashback? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and how, how will they get this cashback? Through, uh, by shopping more or? Uh, yeah, so, so we, we right now have our primary cash out channel, the way okay. we say it. So it's basically on how to liquidate the cashback. Correct. Um, so the primary channel is by transferring to directly to their bank accounts, the shopper's bank account. Okay. We're going to expand these cash out channels to even prepaid for uh, Pulsa, uh, prepaid phones, e-wallets, and um, other alternatives as well. All right, so you're looking at, um, in the coming future, you're looking at allowing consumers to actually uh, repurpose the cashback that they're getting instead of just getting the cash in the account. Exactly. Okay. So we're giving more alternatives, and it's going to be a benefit for the shoppers because mm -hmm. then they can cash out immediately without waiting for, let's say, 50,000 rupiah. Correct. Right? So that's, that's the way we're going to um, moderate the overall cash out process. Mm -hmm. and, if, uh, and it doesn't just stop there. So what we also design in the, in the app is an engagement platform for the brands to interact with the shoppers as well. Mm -hmm. So these engagements will be translated into activities in what we call the bonus feature. Right. So imagine that the bonus feature serves as more like a gamification mm. feature mm -hmm. where the shoppers can do certain activities which will then increase their points yeah. and can even gain higher cashbacks or cashbacks. money in okay. this sense or payouts. Right? All right. Um, so, so the different activities will also be expanded over mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have what we call surveys and also selfies. I see that here. Right. So for surveys, are they getting cash back on selfies as well? 
You can. So, <laughs> so exactly. So if it's supported by the brands, usually okay. it's a, a cashback form. Mm -hmm. um, but then for the gamification purpose, there are also points related to the different surveys and selfies. Okay. Um, uh, so it's not going to be just surveys and selfies in the future. We're going to release very soon video. Okay. So um, it's like watching a video, <clears throat> but then the users can get points or cashbacks. All right. So you'll be adding features as 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 you go. Yeah. Your 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 baby. September 2015. That's when you that's when you launch. Yes. All right. We'll talk more about Snapcard. We'll we we'll Snapcard. We look into the uh, the many features. Uh, we spoke a little about how it works, but we'll also talk a little bit about Ray when we come back.